This uh, California millionaire is trying to get the minimum wage in California raised to 12 bucks an hour by 2016. Why? Because he wants to, because he's a conservative Republican. And he thinks it's crazy that the government is providing a trillion dollars over five years, the government of California, a trillion dollars over five years to, in benefits, in, you know, stuff like food stamps and Medicare and all that kind of stuff, in benefits to people who are actually working full-time at the minimum wage. Because if you work full-time at the minimum wage, you make so little that you still are in poverty and you qualify for these government benefits. And this was the... This this is how, you know, Clinton and Gingrich, quote, ended poverty or ended welfare as we know it. They time limited it. They said you can't be on welfare for more than five years. And the whole idea was, you know, we're going to stop multi-generational welfare. Uh, during the Reagan administration, this they had spun out this myth that uh, black girls specifically, it was this is one of the most racist myths that, that was ever put out, that black teenage girls Wanted, would try to get pregnant in school so that they could then get government benefits and live independently and have a good, happy life the rest of the day. In fact, they'd try to have as many babies as they could because they got paid for each baby. And I, you know, I had a, it's just it's mind-boggling that anybody would, A, believe that, or B, that we would be basing policy on it, but both happened. And so they said, okay, let's just cut them off at five years, period. And that was the, the welfare reforms that Clinton and Gingrich did. And, but they said, but wait a minute, these people are still poor. I mean, even if they're working, we're, we're going to force them to go back to work after five years. They have to go to work. Put their kids in child care, whatever it takes, but they got to go to work. But they're still poor. So we have to give benefits to working people. And this invented a new business model. So a bunch of companies said, hey, this is cool. If we pay very, very little money, the minimum wage, or close to it, then, you know, people come work for us, and we're only paying like, you know, 50 to 70% of the cost of their living. Typically, you know, 100% of your cost of living is paid for by your job. But the the 30 to 50 percent that isn't paid for with at the minimum wage, they, you know, it's picked up by the state. So this Republican, this is this, I keep saying this to Republicans, why don't you get behind increasing the minimum wage? It would reduce government benefits. You got people who are no longer in poverty. And uh, Ron Unz is his name, and he's he's pushing this thing I mean, you know, Jerry Brown just raised the minimum wage to 10 bucks over the next two years, but he's, Ron Unz wants it to go to $12. Because he says, at that point, you're going to get enough people who no longer qualify for state benefits that you're going to save the state a trillion dollars over five years. So basically, he's a multimillionaire, and he doesn't want to pay taxes with money going to poor people. He's a conservative. And we've got this business model where the money is going to poor people. It's just, it's totally bizarre.